today's gospel is very familiar to all of us. Huh? I think all of you have, have uh, listened to this gospel so many times. Huh? And you are very familiar with When I started reading this gospel, all of you already know, feeding of the 5,000 people. Feeding of the 5,000 people. When talking about food, when talking about food, is Malaysian speciality. And talking about food, it brings me to this person. You know, to this person. Narayanan Krishna. Now, there are many other peoples like him, but I chose Narayanan Krishna. He has a big dream. His dream is that a day will come. He says that I want to feed royalties. I want to feed celebrities. At the moment, he is a very well-known chef in India, in one of the famous hotels that he's working. He's already famous, but that's not enough. He wants to serve royalties, celebrities, and all that. No. So, he applied to go to Switzerland. And he received the news. He got it. He got it. And he was very excited. He said, oh, I must go home immediately. I must tell my mother. So on his way home, and he came to a, to a, to a junction where there's very slow traffic and all that, and he got to slow down. And as he turned on his right, he saw a homeless man, very hungry, you could see from the face and eyes, hungry. And because of the hunger in that man, he took his own feces to eat. It strikes his mind. He says, what is this? My dream of feeding royalties and prince. How about my own people? Here, they have nothing to eat. So when we arrived home, the mother was so excited. Yes, tell me. He says, I decided to stay. And I want to feed the poor in my country. Friends, imagine Narayana and Krishna are just like you and me. We are all human. Watch much more of our Father in heaven. If just imagine, you know, if we human are able to do this, how much more is our Father in heaven? And that's why Matthew in 7 11, huh? 7 11, remember that name, uh, the number, huh? 7 11, Matthew 7 11, huh? he said, If you who are evil know how to give good things to your children, how much more the Father in heaven who loves each and every one of us. Friends, yes, we have a lot of dreams and because of that dream, we run away. We run away to, to be fed by so many other things in the world. And because we are not able to control that food that is coming to us, we were lost. At times, we are in despair. We do not know where because we are so obsessed with all the things in that world. We are captured and we are down. Friends, today, as one in the first reading, as the Lord invites the people, the Lord is inviting you and me. If we have run away, come, come to me. I have plenty to give. I have plenty to give. Don't worry of all your troubles or whatever it is. You come to me and I will give you. I will give you. Because for the love of God is awesome. It's awesome. It's beyond compare. It's beyond compare. And that's exactly what St. Paul tells the people. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. If we find great in human love, there is even greater things in divine love. But how many of us want to come to be embraced by this love of our Father in heaven? Dear friends, in Lamentation, uh, Lamentation 3, uh, 22 and 23, you see, that the love of God is steadfast, never ceasing. Imagine that. Ah, oh, the love of God. That means to say that God cannot stop loving us. That is beautiful.
beautiful. And because God cannot stop loving us, He keeps on continuing. If we come to Him, He will continue to feed us and to heal us. So take time. As He commanded, take time to sit down. He said, sit down. Don't worry about the rest. Sit down. Be with me. As we, you know about the story of Mary and Martha. I don't know if Mary has chosen the, the better part. Why? She sat down and listened to this God. The God who loves us. And very well, as very, very well as we look at it. And that's where we sit down and listen. That's where we get healing. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. Because we are not caught up caught up with so many things in the world. Friends, open wide your hand, O Lord, and grant our desire.